Hey everybody, John with Owl, and I want to talk about engines. And that is the new four-cylinder bi-turbo, twin-turbo sprinter motor. This has been, I think it's a fantastic upgrade. It's only a four-cylinder, but the drivability is well beyond that of the previous gen sprinter. One of the things we've been lacking for a while is an engine tune. Everybody can use more power, especially when the van is built out, it's heavy. We've had the pedal control for a while. It really helps that throttle responsiveness, but what we really need is more power. That right there, my friends, that machined body is a Rentec engine tuner for Sprinter all-wheel drive. I believe it works on the two-wheel drive as well, the four-cylinder twin turbo diesel. This is now a piggyback Where tuner. Before you were able to just plug into the OBD2 port and flash the vehicle. Now uh, there is no connection between the OBD2 to port and the ECU. So we have to go with a piggyback tuner. What a piggyback tuner means is that module stays in the vehicle and it communicates directly with the engine and is gonna give you uh, 30 foot pounds additional torque, 30 horsepower, which for a vehicle with not that much horsepower, that's actually a pretty substantial gain. It's not quite as big as the previous generation, but you've got more drivability in this one. So you're gonna add power everywhere and it's just gonna be uh, that much better when you're going up those long hills, when you're at high altitude, all of those places you're gonna see uh, performance gains. A lot of people also ask me, hey, if Mercedes could make more power with the motor, why don't they? Well, it's not simply a matter of can the engine safely make more power? Many, many times they can. It has to do with regulation. Remember, these vehicles have to be sold all over the world. And there's all kinds of regulations that have nothing to do with horsepower or performance of the motor that can uh, impact how much power an engine can put out. There are laws against commercial vehicles with uh, sound decibels. So the engine has to be super quiet, which means that sometimes you detune it for the entire world, even though the US doesn't have those same sound laws. Uh, you have certain countries uh, like Japan that have certain horsepower limits for various vehicles. And I have no business trying to list all of the different laws and idiosyncrasies of all the different jurisdictions in the world. But suffice it to say that you can make more power out of these motors very safely. And the way that we do it with the Rentec is typically through additional boost, which is very, very safe on the engine. One of the coolest things we're doing with this tune is we're sending it through carb testing and EPA testing so that it is 50 state legal. There's no other tune for a sprinter that I'm aware of that is uh, carb approved. And what that means is you're gonna be able to legally add this to your engine and not have any uh, issues with emissions or anything like that. And so that is something that we're pursuing and in testing right now, which will be a major advantage to anyone that chooses to do this upgrade. Um, I do wanna point out, that while you get all the horses and the performance is gonna be vastly improved over stock, you are tuning your engine. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind. Uh, this tuner, we, we think that even if you fully remove it, it can be uh, uh, detected. So it's definitely something that you've gotta to choose to make a decision on your own. That said, we've partnered with Rentec because Rentec has been tuning Mercedes engines for like 30 years. They've got an unbelievable track record. And if they push things to the limits where things failed, they wouldn't be in business. We've installed thousands of Rentec tunes on vehicles over the years, and we've never had uh, an issue with that tune. So uh, it's something I do to all of my vehicles and I wouldn't sell it if I didn't believe in it. So that is the new Rentec tuner. Uh, for the all-wheel drive, or should I say four-cylinder bi-turbo engine. It works on two-wheel drive as well. For us, it dropped three seconds off the zero to 60. These aren't muscle cars or Porsches or sports cars, but three seconds off the zero to 60 is not bad. This engine tuner is available on our website now for all of your 2023 plus sprinters. And you do have to provide your VIN, so reach out and we'll get you going. <laughs>